Okay, so this question looks quite simple, but actually it's going to take a bit of time to sort out. So, the first thing I'll do is do a little sketch. Uh, I'm going to do it up here. Um, since the wires are mainly negative, or in fact are negative, both negative, I'm just going to show the bottom of the graph. So at point 0.7, we're at minus 17, which I'm going to say is here. It's a sketch, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And at point 0.19, uh, we're at minus 11, which I'm going to say is here. Okay, this is called line AB. Now we're asked for the perpendicular bisector. Now perpendicular means it's going to hit that line at right angles. Bisector means it's going to cut it right down the middle. So I'm going to start off at the middle of the shape and draw a quick sketch there like that. Okay, I'm going to call um, um, I'm going to call this uh, M here, and I'm going to call this line line C just so I can. Uh, reference it in my work now and it makes it a bit clearer. Now, um, there are two things I need to find out uh, for, to find out the equation of point C. I need to find the um, gradient of point C and I need to find um, the y-intercept. The gradient is going to be the first thing I'm going to have to find and then I can work out what the y-intercept is and then um, write the equation of line C. So, two things I need to work out. Uh, for line AB is the gradient. So the gradient is going to be change in Y over change in X. So the change in Y is minus 11 um, take away minus 17. And the change in X is 19 take away uh, 7. Okay, so uh, we've got minus 11 and then effectively plus 17, which is 6, divided by 19 take away 7. Okay, 19 take away 7 is obviously 12, so 6 divided by 12, which is a half. So the gradient of that is going to be a half. Okay, next I need to find um, the midpoint because we know that that's also a point on line C. Okay, so the midpoint is going to be the um, average of the x's, so 7 plus 19 over 2, and then the average of the y's, so minus 17 plus minus 11 over 2. So we're basically just finding the halfway points. Now, obviously 7 plus 19 is 26, divided by 2 is 13, but you might have just noticed that 13 is halfway between 7 and 19. Um, same with the others, obviously um, we could do the same thing, um, halfway between the two of them is going to be minus 14. Okay, now you might be wondering, well why did we find the gradient of line AB? Well, perpendiculars have a kind of weird connection where if you multiply both their gradients, it equals minus 1. Now the way we use this is to convert um, a gradient to a perpendicular gradient, we do two things. We find the reciprocal of the gradient and we times it by minus 1. So to find the gradient of line C, what we're going to do is flip it, so the reciprocal of half is 2, and times it by minus 1, so it's going to be minus 2. Now a way of checking that is if you multiply the two gradients together, you should equal minus 1, which a half times minus 2 is minus 1. So we've got the gradient. Now we know um, that the a, a formula for the equation of line C is y equals mx plus c. We actually know the gradient and we know a point on that line, which was the midpoint of line AB. So we're going to feed in the um, coordinates. So it's minus 14. We know what the gradient is, minus 2, I'm going to put this in brackets, times the x-coordinate, which was 13, plus c. And we just solve this to find out what c is. So minus 14 equals, and that's going to be minus 26, plus c. I'm going to add 26 both sides. And if this is on the calculator, then obviously always use your calculator to be sure. So it's going to be 12 equals c, or c equals 12. So therefore the, uh, the equation is, in the form y equals mx plus c, it's going to be y equals minus 2x plus c.
plus 12.